Alrighty guys, what is going on all you beautiful people? It's Big E on the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. Welcome back everybody. Hope you guys are doing alright. We got Mr. Finn. This is our Dwarf Hunter. We're flying into Ungoro Crater. Where did we log out last episode? I think it was Gadget Sand. Or at least I probably ran to Gadget Sand to free up some bag space. I think that's what I did. I posted a couple of things on the auction house. Didn't do anything crazy. Uh, we got some stuff. Oh, that's right. We were in Gadget Sand because we had that quest. Tracking a couple of quests here. We're going to try to finish up this blood pedal thing. We just need two more. And uh, we're also going to go gorilla hunting, guys. We've got uh, Ucha. we got to get his pelt. And he is in the gorilla cave right over here. It's not going to be easy. Also in that... Uh, where's our boy at? Also in that cave is the Chasing Me AO Amy01, this thing. We might give that a shot as well, since we're heading over there anyway. Let's roll on out. If I can get my buffs in line here. Let's see what this is. In case you run across any hey, of this stuff. How you doing? What's this? You've got to help me, friend. Uh, offend. My friend Ringo left earlier to explore the volcano to the south of here, and he has been gone way too long. I am really worried about him. Do you think you could help find him? Why don't you take my canteen with you? If you don't find Ringo, I'm sure he'll need it. Have some trouble reading right off the bat. I remember this quest. Yeah, so this goblin will find this goblin, and he'll pass out every 10 feet, and you've got to give him this. It's weird that you can't put it on your bar. What do we got here? I like these gloves. Not so crazy about the intellect. Uh, BT is unhappy. I bought some roasted quill, even though we have the... Or did I make this up? I guess I bought it. Yeah, because we don't really have decent enough food to feed them, so I just broke down and bought this stuff. These cooking buffs we'll just use for us, I suppose. Anyway, what is this? Wanted a skilled fighter to deal with the threat of the pterodacts that inhabit the Ungoro Crater. Their numbers are growing, and they're becoming a menace to the travelers in the area. Decrease the population by slaying 10 of them. So 10 pterodacts and 15 frenzied pterodacts. We'll definitely take that. I do want this 12 agility, and it's more armor. Give me that. Yeah, absolutely. What does that say? Yeah, it's just uh, orange. We saw a bunch of those things. They are to the uh, down here, southwest area, all over the damn place. Might be fun to do. But let's, uh, let's try to stick to my game plan, even though I just made it up. See if we can find uh, two more of these blood petal things. They're all over the place. We're getting a pretty low drop rate on them um, towards the end there. Take our secret little shortcut here. Oh, there's one right here. All right, let's do this instead. That was a big hit. You coming to see me? He didn't like that crit. He doesn't appreciate it. Flowers don't appreciate crits with arrows, apparently. I think I'd classify this as a vine and not a flower. It's not beautiful like a flower. Probably has a nice personality, though. Probably throw up a... We're going to throw up an agility buff. I think we are going to throw up a little agility buff here. Also going to give BT another piece of food. 
Because he was right on the edge, apparently, on the border. On the border. He just went from uh, content to happy. I want him extra happy because we got a lot of work to do in this cave. Let's get to our 0.8 DPS, which is apparently what 10 agility does. Ta ta ta. Yeah, did an episode on Mountain. Doing one on Finn. Had to clean up some bag space on Mountain after the episode. It's getting pretty ridiculous. A bunch of meat and all kinds of crap. I sent a bunch of meat over from Finn, thinking I had a specific recipe and did not have the recipe, so put it on the bank. Put some stuff on the auction house. Did the same here on Finn before I started. There's a blood pedal. All right. Let's fight our way in here. We're definitely a lot more comfortable with our level than when we first uh, were messing around with these gorillas. I think they were two, three levels above us. Oh, we're gonna hit level, uh, we're gonna be level 52 here. Might even on this kill. Maybe even on this kill. Okay, he called his buddies in. That's not good. I gotta put a heal on him. It's nice that we just leveled up, stored our mana. I'm glad you came over, because I need to do that to you. Yeah, I forgot they call like that. Which one called? Uh, come on, get get on him, BT. Just just any old gorilla called, I guess. Put another heal on him. We'll get some skins. We'll get some XP. We can also that's a talent point, and we can see the trainer. I didn't realize we were that close. Maybe I did. I thought maybe we would level up last episode and we didn't, probably what happened. But if I had any sense, I would have uh, just right there in Gadget and I would have killed a couple of things, got the level up. But uh, I don't really have any sense. Not much of it at all. We're gonna pull him back here. What the hell? Oh, he's right there. I was like, did he just disappear on us? No, he did not disappear on us. Serve a little mana. <coughs> Excuse me. Need a sip of my drinky drink. I think drinky drink means alcoholic beverage. I'm having cucumber water. It's not quite the same, but much healthier. Yeah, I think I'm, I didn't go to the gym today. I, I had to do a lot of work today. <clears throat> um, I wasn't really feeling that good, so I didn't go to the gym this morning. But I'm actually feeling a lot better now. Might go to the gym a little bit later. It's a Friday night, so... Oh, boy. Friday nights in the gym. It's not many people at all. We missed that. We missed our aim shot. That's really bad. I'm going to lay down a freezing trap, and I'm going to auto-shoot this guy. Okay, he's coming anyway. Hunter is so overpowered with dealing with multiple mobs. It's just ridiculous. I have feigned death. We have the traps. We have the pet. It's, it's kind of crazy. 
Got a taunt off. Use our mana to heal BT. Yeah, I'm gonna have to really be careful in this cave. Uh, especially if they can call two additional mobs, that's pretty bad. So if we're engaged to two mobs and one of them calls, that's potentially four mobs because of quick wizard math. <laughs> oh man, it's like somebody didn't fare too well in here. Let's get some mana. So we're looking for Ucha, or Ucha, however you say it. And we're going to try this robot escort quest. I don't know how that's going to work out. Probably not very well. Okay. I need to freeze him. I need to put BT back on him. Well, oh boy, this is not good. Might have to feign death here. I'm going to see if I can get one of these down. I'm going to do that and that. Get some extra armor with our stone form. I hit rapid fire. I'm trying to get this thing down. I've got a feign death. Well, let's pop a health pot. Oh. Okay. They ran off. We were just out of range, apparently. Probably because uh, BT wasn't engaged. That is kind of... If, if BT hasn't pulled aggro on a mob yet, you can feign death and the mob will reset. And But if he's got a, a hit on him, it, it doesn't work like that. Okay, Thunderer. Let's pull this guy up here. I'm going to keep... I'm going to try to pull these guys back. Keep them from uh, doing their little yell or whatever it is they do. What I'm trying to say is I want them to be too far away to call mobs. Yeah, get nice XP in here and we get some nice skins. This stuff will sell. Thinking about dropping blacksmithing on a uh, mountain and just using, um, just selling the, the materials. Oh, we resisted the fire trap. That sucks. Try to get a little gold saved up on mountain. Those ores will sell. a lot of apes in here, so all these things are going to start respawning behind us. Alright, let's, um, I'm going to do this. Well, first of all, let's get some damn mana. This might be bad right here. Gotta put him on us, uh, on that mob before he gets us. He's probably gonna call his buddy. don't call out? I don't actually know. Someone is already looting that corpse? Yeah, it's uh, it's me. 
I'm the one looting the corpse. This is the chicken up here. Well, I don't know if it's a chicken. I don't know what it is, actually. Some kind of robot thing. Weird that there's no like gorilla meat in the game. Maybe that's too disgusting. I don't know. Let's see if we can get him on top of that fire trap. Yes, we can. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to untrack this for now. Yeah, if you come in here with two people, you can roll through really quick and you can kind of get out before everything respawns. We missed our uh, rapid killing. So these, I, I, I'm pretty sure these call for sure. And they come from a, oh boy, we've got, we've got a big boy coming. I want to get him away a little further. I don't want, I don't want three ads. Try to play a little bit smart. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure where Ucha is. I guess he's probably up top. You know, the cave winds around. This is the same cave layout as the one in Arathi Highlands and all the other ones. Blizzard uses the same designs. I think they have two or three cave systems that they use as far as the layout, the design of it. Small thorium vein. Makes me want to be a miner. Got another one up there. Let's pull them back a little. Pretty much out of mana. Let's keep our sting up. Did the call, which is a bit unfortunate because we're out of mana. BT's getting a little bit wrecked. Should be okay. Hang in there, buddy. What's our skinning skill? Oh, man. What do I... Wait, can you get above 300? I don't... I don't remember if you can get above 300 or not. Surely we can, right? Fuck, I don't know. I do not know. I didn't pay too close attention to um, professions. Why, you know, when I originally played um, vanilla and uh, TBC and Wrath, Cataclysm. Just waiting for him to get a taunt off. Doing on arrows. Ah, eh, we're pretty good. I'm not gonna overfill our bags because at level 55 we can upgrade our 
arrows, and I also forgot to spend a talent point. Yes, I did. What are we doing here? Kind of sad that I went here, but I guess it's okay. Um, where was I going? I was here. I want this. Gives your pet a 40% chance to gain 30% attack, attack speed increase for 8 seconds after dealing a crit. Let's do that. Now we can get down here, Bestial Wrath, with our next point, and that's where I wanted to go. Let's pull him back here. Make him run through the fire. Looks like our agility buff wore off. That was a big hit. He's coming to tell me how much he did not appreciate it. Man, he just chunked our health right there. Chunked it. Let's get some uh, tender wolf steak here. Get our 12 stam. Probably going to need the extra stamina when we roll out of here with the chicken or whatever it is. Yeah, it's going to be rough. I don't know if we can do it. Because the, you know, the NPCs, they typically have no health. That looks like what we need. No, it's not. So there he is right there. Surely, yeah, that's the... Uh, look at that big beast. Looks like an orangutan, the color. Oh, we've got... Is that a rare? It is a rare. I'm out of range. It is a rare, guys. Uh, what am I doing? I got all distracted. No, 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 no. Oh, God. <laughs> I had that targeted, and I sent BT back in on the stopper. That could have been bad. I don't think I've ever seen this rare before. Man, that would make a bad... Oh, my God! No! Oh, shit! Oh, why did he do that? Oh, they're coming for me. All right, let's get the rare down, and I'll feign. Okay, I, I want you on that. Can he get a taunt off? He can. I'm going to do that. I'm going to pop a health pot. I'm going to not feign death until we absolutely have to. Keep BT up. We're actually doing all right. I popped stone form. Out of mana. Which means I can't feign. I can feign death with 80 mana. Okay. We're fine here. Yeah, we're okay. If BT can get a... Oh. Bandage. Didn't think I was going to be able to feign. God, boy, I did not play this well. I got to let him get some hits off here. Oh, there's another fucking thing coming? Are you kidding? There's another goddamn mob coming. Hopefully he doesn't come all the way over here, We're because we're going to be screwed. I do have a feign death. And I'm going to save my mana for the feign death. Or should I give it to BT? Oh, BT's okay. No, here comes the mob. We're not going to be okay. I want to get this down. Yeah, use it on him. Boy, this is rough. <laughs> this is fucking rough. BT's a beast. I, I gotta save this. I gotta save this feign death. He's actually hanging in there. I can heal him again. All right, we're okay here. We're fine. Yeah, that all happened because I had the, the the rare targeted, and I accidentally put BT on him. I pulled him off, but after BT killed what I put him back on, 
he ran back. He's like, oh, well, since I was attacking that, let me go attack that some more, because you love it when I do that. I wanted to see if this thing was tameable. we get there Too far away. okay I guess I guess you can't find out on something that's dead okay let's um let's regroup here that was pretty rough we also picked up a green helm stam and strength 397 plate that'll sell yeah warrior should snatch that thing up what else did we get shadow damage 24 shadow damage cloth. These will sell really well as well. Those are pretty nice looking shoulders. Yeah. Kind of like those. We'll sell those. That's that's nice. That is nice. Let's um let's get this stuff out of the way before more stuff pops up and ruins our day. I don't know how many mobs we dealt with right there, like six. Fortunately, BT is no joke. Back up. Where's the chicken? Did I? Oh man, we've got a hearth out of here. How did I miss the chicken? He just popped up. Is it down there? Oh, I ran right over top of it. I thought it was up here on this ledge. This is pretty bad right here. Stomper. I don't think the stompers call. I guess we'll find out because there's a mob right there. I think just the gorillas call. Um... Interesting. All right, let's, I guess, oh, he's coming. Let's go back down there. Oh, man. Okay, he needs to come down here because he's going to call that mob. Okay, get back on him. I guess I ran right over top of it. I'm not I'm not sure what happened there. Those taunts BT throws down, just throwing down the taunts. Gonna put our uh, dense sharpening stone up. Do a little melee. Yeah, we're getting some nice skin. This rugged leather sells pretty pretty well. I guess I just completely missed this shit. I guess I ran right over top of it. Man, I love the speed of these axes. They're so quick. They're both the 1.6s. I 
thing is, we do seem to miss a lot. That was our fire proc, or our uh, whatever you call it. Why not? Yeah, one of these has the fiery enchant on it. This one, fiery blaze. I like it when it goes off. It makes me happy. That also, that fiery blaze is also a AOE um, rock. See, now it's saying that it's it's up. Uh, I, all right, I think I know where it is. I think it's around, yeah, well, obviously it's in this little bend. I just misread that completely, though, of where it was located. I think we can pull him. Did skin that? What a loser. Some damn nice XP in here. Resisted it, you bastard, you. You bastard. drink up yeah so I guess I came out this way before all I had to do was come right through here but that's all right it was worth it we needed uh, Ucha whatever it is and we also got the um, ah, the rare where's this one at let's uncheck that which dropped a really nice BOE am I losing my mind Oh, he's up here. All right, I forgot the... Okay, so when we come into the cave, we need to go to the right. I forgot all about that. I forgot all about it. Okay. We're still going to give this a shot. How are we doing on time? Uh, we're actually over. Yeah, I don't actually know if we can do this escort quest. The way that they call ads. If they didn't call ads, it would be one thing. It might be doable. But if we've got... If we're trying to protect this paper mache NPC and, like, three or four ads on us, it's just not good. All right, this is where we needed to be, and that's the exit. Let's get rid of this. He shouldn't call ads because he's a thunderer. So if you guys are ever doing this quest from this area, yeah, the regular gorillas will call ads. The thunderers and the whatever the other one is will not call the ads. So I was going to say I wasted a lot of time, but we didn't really waste a lot of time because I needed to go get Pacha or whatever his name is. So this one, if there's if there's ads to be called, he'll call them. Unless I pull them back here, which I might do. Yep, he called one. Hold the big boy in. I think BT needs a gold star on his head. Just legendary performance. Yep, 
in fact, gold star, my man. Gold star on your head, BT. And have some roasted quail. Are you sleeping? Are you pretending to sleep? You absolute bastard. Oh, so it's an actual... I guess it's a mechanical gorilla. It's not a chicken. <laughs> well, that's good. Maybe the thing's a little beefy. Maybe it's got a little bit of health. This might be doable. And also, it's really close to the entrance. It's not like we have to go all the way up and around and then back, so... This might be doable. We'll see. It's mana up for sure. And we may as well get our food buff back up because it's uh, starting to wear off. There we go. All right, brother. As you look, uh, a uh, you know what? I'm going to we're going to we're going to hurry through this. Oh, was it not an escort quest? Oh, Mithril Casing. All right, I remember this. The only reason I hurried through that is because I thought it was an escort quest and I wanted to get out of here before stuff respawned, but it's not an escort quest. You have to bring some Mithril Casing, and I do remember that now. Yeah, before you come in here, if you're going to do this quest, have some Mithril Casing with you. Um, right here. Yeah, methyl casing. Have it on you before you come here to do this quest, guys. Looks like you didn't get that off. So, I guess you get that from an engineer, or you can buy it, or whatever. I'll read the quest once we get to safety. I guess we've got to wrap up here. Alright, well, it's good to know. Come in the cave, go to the right. Pretty easy to get to. Only a couple of mobs there. But I think once we have the mithril casing, then maybe it's an escort quest. Pull you back here, just for reasons. You see that star on my pet's head? It's because he's a legend. Did not get a screenshot of anything. We'll fix that. Yes, we will. Let's see if we can get over here to get a screenshot. What are you? Stomper, so you're not going to call. So we're going to do this. I'm going to roll in like this. And I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. Still need one more blood petal thing. You. Yeah. Come over He loves it. He loves him a fire trap. Is he, is he gonna have it? Is he gonna have it? Of course he's not gonna have it. Sounded like Howard Cosell for a second there. Out of mana. I don't think that guy's still alive, Howard Cosell. I don't know, he might be. 
I know they he's an old school broadcaster from like ABC or something, but uh, they tried to bring him back, and like his first game back, he was calling an NFL game, and he said. He didn't say the N-word, but he may as well have said it. It was, uh... It was pretty bad. I think he was doing a, um... Like, Dan Diodorf and Al Michaels. Those guys are, were, like, the big-time announcers for a long, long time for NFL games. They both just had really really good like announcer voices and um was another guy they had they alternated other guys on there too but they had howard cosell on for a bit well not for a bit they brought him back on and uh this guy was running a touchdown back and he was doing like uh he was showboating really i can't stand showboating in games i don't watch sports anymore because of the just how ridiculous it's become. All right, we got that. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent here. Anyway, I don't know why in the hell I got on that. <clears throat> All right, we got these two things done. Let's go turn this stuff in. Finally got that completed. Yeah, we got some orange stuff. This would be good XP. It's a little bit tricky to get through this side of it. There we go. I guess my shoulder pads were hitting. I keep calling shoulder pads. Oh, that's weird. Usually he glitches through there, but he actually ran up and around. Ta ta ta. Next episode, we're probably going to do the um, that Teradox, that Wanted poster, because I want that ring, I think it is. Hello. There's Mario. I uh, hope they didn't give you too much trouble, Finn. I try to steer clear of them. They're wild. I tried jumping over one. I was attacked. Plants just shouldn't be attacking this way. This is absolutely Mario and Luigi uh, from the game, Nintendo. It's what I remember it from. I'm not quite sure what to make of this, Finn. The plants, they seem to have some minimal intelligence. I'm no expert, though, but I do know someone that is. Head to Northern Forellis and look for a buddy of mine named Gregan Bruce Buer. He's an expert on this sort of thing. I'm sure uh, Gregan can help us out here. You will find him in the wilderness. He's not the type to live in the big city. Nor am I. Safe travel. All right, interesting. It's a fairly long way to go. Where's the other... All right, this, Ferellis, Winter Spring, Fire Plume Ridge, and this is the other guy. Okay, so this guy is way over here. Okay, interesting. All right, guys, we're going to call it here. I'm going to check in here, I suppose. I wish there was a spot you could rest in, but uh, there doesn't appear to be. Let's get me off of the camera. All right, boys, I appreciate you guys. I surely, surely do. BT, Mr. Finn, and myself will catch you guys in the next one. Farewell. Peace.